Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. Ana wa guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to take this opportunity to take you through the process for the developing of the National Education for Sustainable Development Strategy Framework or ESDSF. The development of the National Education for Sustainable Development Strategy Framework is the response to the directives of the SADC ministers meeting responsible for education and training held on 17th June 2022 in Ilelongwe, Malawi. The ministers at their meeting in Ilelongwe directed partner states, directed secretariat, SADC secretariat with the support of UNESCO to develop a costed action plan and uh, monitoring and evaluation tools to accompany the regional strategic framework and urged member states with the support of UNESCO to organize national policy dialogue to develop and or review their national ESD strategy and report progress at the next meeting. Honorable guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, in responding to this directive as a SADC member state, the Education for Sustainable Development Policy Dialogue Meeting was organized in Dar es Salaam from 28th February to 1st March 2023, aimed to promote for an integration and mainstreaming of ESD into policies, curriculum, and institutional leadership activities and to agree on the development of a national education for sustainable development strategy framework for ESD in the context of the ESD for 2030 framework. The dialogue engaged key stakeholders from policy actors and education leaders, development partners, CBOs, youth, and NGOs involved in the ESD initiatives. Furthermore, the National ESD Task Force was formed, composing of government representation from both Tanzania mainland and Zanzibar, CSOs and development partners. Uh, development of the ESD strategic framework was done involving literature review and stakeholders consultations from the key ministries. Honorable guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, the National ESD Strategic Framework is a comprehensive tactical guideline that aligns national, regional, and global policies and development frameworks in embedding sustainability principles into education and social economic development aspects. It embraces the Sustainable Development Goals 4.7 in aspiring learners to be furnished with 21st century skills, competences, and knowledge needed for sustainable development, global citizenship, and the appreciation of cultural diversity. The ESD strategic framework has three chapters. Chapter one is on introduction, chapter two on the strategic focus, and chapter three on the implementation mechanism. Honorable guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, chapter one sheds light on the overview of ESD implementation in the United Republic of Tanzania, guiding instruments for ESD implementation in the URT, such as the National Environmental Policy of 2021, the National Environmental Master Plan for Strategic Interventions 22 to 32, Zanzibar Environmental Policy of 2013 and the Zanzibar Environmental Management Act of 2015 and uh, ESD at regional and global context based on ESD for 2030 was used. Honorable guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, chapter two of the strategic framework highlights the vision, mission, mission objectives and the strategies. 
In a nutshell, the strategy envisions a sustainable future to all learners with the mission of integrating ESD principles into sustainable livelihood, consumption and production, climate change mitigation and, and adaptation, biodiversity conservation, and social justice. The objective of the strategy is to promote sustainable development and environmental conservation by integrating ESD into the education system in alignment with the UN SDGs and the overall vision of the African Union Agenda 2063. Honorable guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, chapter three of the strategy explains on the implementation mechanisms, roles, and responsibility, responsibilities of the stakeholders. The strategy maps the roles of each stakeholders as follows. The government is responsible with providing policy guidance, resource allocation, and institutional coordination for ESD implementation. Curriculum development institutions and education institutions integrating ESD into curriculum and promote sustainable development practice. The civil society organizations uh, will be responsible with raising awareness and advocating sustainable development and ESD implementation. The private sector will invest in a sustainable development initiative, partner with stakeholders in promoting ESD implementation. International organizations will, will provide technical and financial support, capacity building, and the networking opportunities to promote ESD implementation. The youth and youth organizations will be promoting education and the awareness of sustainable development and ESD. And the last one is faith-based organizations which uh, will raise awareness of sustainability issues and advocate for sustainable development through networks and communities. Honorable guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, in the lead of the above, the, minister, the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology is therefore responsible with the overall coordination of the implementation of the ESD strategy framework. Through the existing Education Sector Development Committee, the subcommittee will be formed for ESD strategic framework implementation. The committee will comprise of members from ministries and other members from different stakeholders. The committee will develop the funding mobilization strategy for the, for the ESD implementation as well as work on the monitoring and evaluation of the implementation of the strategy. The strategy will be implemented to the entire United Republic of Tanzania, coordinated by MOEST uh, for the Tanzania mainland and uh, Minister of uh, Education and Vocational Training uh, for the part of Zanzibar. Tumedha Miria, tunaboresha elimietu.